What's good, everybody? We are back again with another video. And before we get into it, I just want to say thank y'all for all the love. We gained 10 subscribers in one day. Um, just want to say thank y'all again. And let's get straight into this video. So I told you guys yesterday that I had plans for this week. Um, I had my two videos the past few days about the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference trades that they should do. And then I said today we're talking about Joel Embiid. And consequently, yesterday, Joel Embiid dropped 50 points in 27 minutes. So we're going to talk about it. So... My whole purpose of this video was to just show you guys how skillful Joel Embiid is. In my opinion, Joel Embiid is probably the most skilled center we've seen of all time. Now, some people might say um, Hakeem Olajuwon. Some people might even say Shaq. But the stuff that Joel Embiid has been doing, not even this year, but like for the past few years, is just some things I've never seen before. So, we are going to break it down. Let's get straight into it. So since coming into the league, Joel Embiid has been known as the guy that likes to troll a lot of people, likes to get in a lot of people's head, and I wouldn't say he doesn't take it seriously, but he likes he likes to make it fun of people like getting in people's head. He likes getting on people's nerves. That was his thing. That's how he played basketball, and it worked for a long time, but it never took his team to a different level like they should be because they've had multiple talents like Jimmy Butler, like Joel B, like Ben Simmons, like Tobias Harris. And they were always falling out the playoffs after round two. And my whole thing with that was I just wanted to see Joel and B take it serious. Like no trolling, no none of that, none of that Twitter, Instagram stuff. Because for years he was probably the best NBA player on Twitter. It was him and Kevin Durant. And I just wanted to see him put all that stuff aside and just take it serious. And one moment where I noticed he was starting to take stuff serious, and it's crazy because it happened in the All-Star game. It was a close game in the All-Star game, and he had LeBron on his back. He was in the post, and he hit this crazy fadeaway over LeBron. I'm going to show you guys right now. It was wild, and then you see in his face right after he shot it, the most serious I've ever seen Joel Embiid in my life. <laughs> And I, I stood up at that moment. I looked at the screen. I said, Joel, if you can do that every game, and I'm not talking about all the games. I'm talking about every game, this 76ers team can be way nicer than they are. And for the past two seasons, he has been dominating. Not just on some back-to-the-basket stuff, talking about body and you up, all that stuff. No, I'm talking about all three levels of the court. Joel Embiid has been dominating on the three, in the post, in the paint. He's been dominating on defense. He's been dominating. And it sucks that they can't really put a team around him because their owner, I mean, not their owner, their GM is super greedy. And he thinks they're getting a James Harden or a Damian Lillard, which is not coming through the door in no time soon. It sucks that that's happening. But what I've been seeing from Joel Embiid these past few years has been nothing more but exciting and if they can put a piece next to him, like a guard, an elite guard, he can do enough to take this team to the promised land. It doesn't even have to be an elite guard. Like I told you guys in my video yesterday, I think they should trade for Anthony Simons. It just fits so perfect next to Joel. Joel has never had a guard that can do the stuff that Anthony Simons does. Never had a guard that can shoot the ball like Anthony Simons does. That has a lot of attention on him on the offensive side because he can do a lot of things. He can score from all three levels. He can pass the ball. He can do everything on offense. He's never had a card like that. And I love Ben Simmons, but he's just not that guy. And I think that's the perfect trade for them to do without giving up so much. And then you get a lot in return. That would be a perfect trade, but Dale Moore is not going to do that. But going into Jordan B, we're going to look at some of the clips where I feel like he is the most skillful center we've seen of all time so let's get straight into it here we got this game against the magics that happened yesterday this game was crazy him and mo bamba were going at it all of a sudden i look on twitter i see joel b has the first 20 of the 22 points that the 76ers had and then going into halftime mo bamba has 28 and 7 i'm like what wait wait a minute he dropped his career high in one half i was really confused but i watched the second half i understood why both of them were doing their thing and I just want to show you guys why Jordan B is so skillful. So this one right here, this is one thing he's kind of added to his game literally this year, learning how to take the ball coast to coast. He has the handles to take the ball coast to coast. He just never did it normally. Behind the back on Franz Wagner. Euro step through them and one. That's tough. As a seven footer, you cannot, you should not be moving like that. <laughs> you should not be moving like that. That's a tough finish for him. That's a very tough finish for him. Then we got one right here. Right here, we got 
him literally crossing up Robin, Robin, Robin Lopez. This is just a tough move. Like I said, he's seven foot. He didn't really show his handle a lot coming into the league. So I didn't know he really had it like this. But he has a bag. He has a handle. Look at this move. Mm. Got in front of him. You're not stopping me. You're not stopping me. Let's slow, let's slow that down. That is a tough move. That is a tough move. And he's not the only center that can do this. But, like, it doesn't look the same when other centers do it. It just looks so good when you do it. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> let's look at this right now. He got the switch. Actually, no, he didn't. They actually played really good defense off of that. But Robert Lopez is just not a defender you want to put against Jordan B. Has he? Oh, my God. <laughs> Froze him. Oh, my God. Got in front of him. He could have went up straight right there, but he didn't want to get blocked. He tried to draw the foul. That's what Jordan B likes to do. I think Jordan B shot 14 free throw shots yesterday. He gets his fouls. He gets his fouls. That's one thing he's definitely learned over the years, too, how to get his fouls. Um, next one we got right here. His footwork is just something that's amazing. I think he has the best footwork in the league. Him and him and Jokic had the best footwork in the league. Right off the catch. Plants that right foot. Actually plants this foot. Goes off of that right foot. Went straight around him. Straight around him. Didn't even have time. Robin Lopez didn't even have time to react. He did not have time to react. Tough finish with the right hand on the opposite side of the rim. That's tough. That is tough by Jordan B. Now, we're going to focus on his face-up game. He probably has the best face-up game in the league. Can't really block it. Can't really contest it. Like this. Robin Lopez, I, I, I don't I understand. Like, they don't have no depth. They don't have nobody that can guard him. That's the last person I would want on Jordan P. The double's coming. He sees the double's coming. He knows he has to get the shot up. In and out. Mm. Has, mm. That's a tough shot. I know y'all seen that clip. I know y'all seen that clip that was like viral a couple days ago. And they were showing Kobe's highlights, Michael Jordan's highlights, and then Jordan B's highlights. It was just mirrored. They all look the same. And I know a lot of people hate um, comparing anybody to Jordan or even Kobe. But all the moves that Jordan B was doing in that video, they were the exact same. And they looked perfect. So... This for him to be doing this at seven foot, that's the craziest part to me. He's seven foot doing this. Those guys are six, 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 seven. He is seven foot, a center doing this. This is why I love that we have some really good centers because it looked like we weren't we were leaving the center era, especially with Steph Curry and all these guys that we have now. This one right here, this has he on Mo Bamba to get to his spot in the middle of the free throw. Crazy. Crazy. This is me showing you his handle. His handle is crazy. For a seven footer, his handle is crazy. Has he? Mm. It's fadeaway. Kobe. That's Kobe right there. That's his shot. Kobe likes to do that fadeaway in the middle of the post. That's tough, bro. That is tough. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Now we got another one right here. This one just fade away off the dribble. Just working this whole team. He's dropped 50 points in 27 minutes. That is crazy. I think that's the third least time out of all. Out of all people that dropped 50. I think freaking Will Tremulin dropped 100 in like 20 minutes. Clay dropped 50, 60 in 20 minutes. But hold on. Where's the clip? Oh, I was, I was a little behind. I'm tripping. This one right here. Mo Bama really can't stick him. I know y'all remember that video when Mo Bama was a rookie and it was just in some runs and then he told him welcome to the league. Same thing right here. Same thing right here. He can't stick him. Good defense though, but I'm just gonna get to my spots and make you get bored. Yeah, that's just that's too easy. Cole can't even help off that. He could try though. He could definitely try. <laughs> he just couldn't. He couldn't help off that. And then we got one right here. Right here. Robin Lopez again. Basically dominating him the whole time. Robin Lopez actually stuck good defense right here. He did, you just can't do nothing with it. You already know what he's about to do. He's about to get to a spot. Plant that right foot. That's tough, bro. That is tough, bro. Over the hope, too. That's tough. That's crazy, bro. I want to do a Jokic breakdown because both of them do the same stuff. Bro. And this is nasty, Seeing the hope coming behind him. Seeing the hope coming behind him. Know he had to get to a spot. Look at this. 
And you can't tell me that's not Michael Jordan or Kobe. You can't tell me. And you studied Michael Jordan and Kobe to the T, bro. This is a tough move by him, bro. The most skillful center I've ever seen in my life. I, you got to show me somebody that has more skill than you want to be in that center position. Because I don't think there is one, bro. No center is doing this. You can bring up Shaq because how skillful he was in dominating in the paint. But Joel can do the same thing in the paint. Nobody is doing it in the post like Joel Embiid is doing it, bro. Nobody is doing it in the post. And then this one right here. This caps it off. This caps it off just to show you how skillful he is. How much of a generational talent he is. Remind you guys, this dude in his junior year was on JV. <laughs> he was on junior varsity, bro. Playing like trash. I know y'all seen that clip where he hit a layup behind the rim and missed. But look at this. Clock going down. I'm thinking, all right, he's about to drive on him. He been bullying him down low all game. He's about to drive on him. No, I'm in the sidestep. I'm in the sidestep. I'm not touching that either. I'm hitting the sidestep. That's just that's skill, bro. That is skill, man. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say no more. We got any more clips at the end of this? This free throws. But yeah, he is the most skillful center I've ever seen in my life. And now let's talk about the MVP race. Because that's the title of the video. I don't think he's the MVP. Yes, I clickbaited you. Everybody does it. I just did it better. I don't think he's the MVP. I will give that to Giannis. What Giannis has been doing the whole season. Joel Embiid had like a stretch where he's kind of bad. Giannis has been dominating the whole season when he's been doing the whole season. I got to give it to Giannis. I have to. But if we're looking at people around him, Jokic, the number is amazing. Amazing. I want to give it to him. But if I was to give Jokic MVP, I would have to give it to Trey Young because Trey Young's team is trash too. But when you look at Trey Young's numbers ever since what? November or December, the beginning of December, he's been averaging 30 and 10. I would have to give it to him, but I can't. And same thing for Jokic. I can't give it to Jokic because the team is just underperforming. I think they're 23 and 20. I understand the injuries, but I can't do that to him. KD. KD's missed a lot of games. I can't get it to KD, but if KD was healthy, it would be him and Giannis up there. Steph. This whole slump that he's in the last month and a half is taking him all the way down. We can't even talk about him. LeBron. I don't, you know, my God, I love LeBron, but... We're not good at all to even be talked about having an MVP candidate. We don't. We shouldn't even be talked about having an all-star candidate. It's like, I ain't going to do that for LeBron. But, yeah, you can't say LeBron. So, like, at two, Joel Embiid's got to be there. Their team is number four because they're right above us. We're number five. They have to. He has to be number two in the MVP race. And I wouldn't be mad if you said he's number one. I'm just saying, Giannis, this whole season has been dominated. And it's time to give him his respect. He got the championships. He has one of the best resumes of all time. He's only 27. Give him his respect. You see what Stephen A. said the other day. That's why I told you guys a long time ago. Stop watching ESPN and, and, and all that stuff. They just don't know that they're talking about and they're doing it for views. But other than that, I just wanted to show y'all a breakdown of how good Joel Embiid is. I'm happy this game happened yesterday because I didn't know where I was going to get this film from. But shout out to the person that uploaded this film. Other than that, tomorrow we will be here with a Miami Heat video. And I'm going to talk to you guys about how they are the most feared team in the league. They vocalize. Peace out.